Hey guys, this is the Instant Camera Guy here. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to highlight two very special cameras that I have in stock at the moment. So, these cameras are a little different to my usual ones in the fact that they weren't actually restored by myself. These two cameras are the creation of Option 8. Now, Option 8, for those unfamiliar, is a guy who, much like myself, restores old Polaroid cameras. So, he operates out of Gainesville, Florida, in the USA, and he tends to focus on producing Type 100 cameras. Uh, typically, he restores the very old 1950s roll film Polaroids that you sadly cannot get film for anymore, except he modifies them to take modern films by fitting them with Type 100 film backs, 600 SE backs, and even 4x5 film holders. And this is another one of his creations. So, these are manual option land cameras, and they are, in essence, a Polaroid automatic land camera, which isn't so automatic anymore. So, basically, what he has done is replaced the automatic electric eye uh, shutter control unit with a custom-made printed circuit board and control knob. So, this allows for computerized, precise control over the shutter speed. So, I'll give you a bit of a run-through on how the camera works. So, at the front, instead of the original electric eye, you now have a knob that allows you to select the shutter speed. So, the shutter speed ranges from 1 1,000th of a second all the way to a quarter of a second, as well as bulb mode. The original uh, scene selection settings from the shutter and the film speed selection wheel now control your aperture. And you get, you have two settings via the lever. One allows you to choose an aperture between f8.8 and f11. And the other setting allows you to have an aperture range between f16 all the way up to f45, which is really handy when shooting the 3000 ISO black and white film. So, as well as a totally brand new control system, Option 8's also gone to a lot of trouble to put brand new um, labels and faceplates on the camera in order to keep it as original looking as possible as if it just appeared out of the showroom from the 60s. So everything about the camera is identical to the standard. You've got the same folding bellows design, which folds flat for portability. They take the exact same batteries as the standard do, with these two being modified to take three AAAs. Uh, and he's given me two styles to start off with, one based on a Type 1, uh, sorry, on a Polaroid 100 automatic, and this one being based on a Polaroid 250 automatic. The difference being a slightly different colour scheme, and of course the different viewfinders. Apart from that, they both feature the same triple element glass lens and the same metal body complete with tripod socket. The shutter has full X synchronization for flash photography, whether in the studio or mounting to camera. And the tripod socket combined with the bulb mode, me bulb mode means that these are perfect for nighttime long exposures, which is something that you could never do with the original. So, basically, Option 8 has chosen me to be the official Australian supplier for these cameras, and he started me off with these two to sell on consignment on his behalf. And, assuming that these sell, I will be getting more in stock. So, I recommend you guys really check out these cameras, as there's pretty much not... Uh, there's really nothing else like them in the world. So, basically, if you want another Polaroid camera with manual control, you're pretty much forced to buy either a, a Polaroid 180, a Polaroid 195, or something like a, a 600 SE. Now, the issue with those cameras, as well as being a lot rarer, is that all of the shutters on those cameras are mechanically controlled. That is to say that they operate just like the old large format shutters do, uh, which is fully mechanical, and the only downside to that is, if you're buying from someone that's selling secondhand on eBay, if they've stored the camera incorrectly, or they haven't used it in a while, that the lubrication in the shutter may be on its way out, and it might be sticky, 
or not work at all, and if you're unlucky, you may need out you may end up having to shell out quite a bit of money getting the camera cleaned, lubricated, and adjusted, which can be very expensive, uh, especially when you're shelling out the 600 to to sort of 900 dollars for what those cameras are worth that I just mentioned before. So the good thing about Option 8's cameras is that the shutter is just like the original in that it is electromagnetically controlled. Now the benefit with an electromagnetic shutter is that it doesn't need maintenance. Being electromagnetic, there's absolutely no lubrication inside needed, and everything is electronically controlled. This means that over time, uh, there's no lubrication that can dry out, and your shutter will never slow down. All the, con all the speed settings that you're getting on the camera are precise as they are controlled by a computer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I just want to make it clear that I will not be converting anyone's cameras for myself. The simple reason being that this is not a conversion that I do. Option 8 is the only person in the world that has the parts uh, to do this. He's the one that came up with the idea for the printed circuit chip. And there would really be no point in me going into competition with someone who's already made such an amazing device. So there you have it two fantastic cameras. Um, I am selling both of these cameras at the moment with two electronic flashes, uh, which I have created custom brackets to hold them to the camera. Um, for all pricing and availability, you can check out the links in the description to this video, or you can feel free to contact me. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.